welcome to the knitting project um i'm going to do a little snippet or well i don't know what i'm calling this it's the 12 days of christmas i'm going to open another one of my 12 days of christmas sets that i've got um it seems very appropriate today because it's actually snowed this morning so it's actually looking really christmasy out there so i thought why not i will open um another one of my sets so there is another video before this one which was um my lovely friend Jenny, who is Willie Goodness Yarn, her 12 Days of Christmas set. So if you um, haven't seen that one, go check that one out. Um, I bought myself some 12 Days of Christmas to open between Christmas and New Year because I fully intended to carry on vlogging till the end of December. But December kind of ran away with us. Um, we had Panto and obviously Katie was having, so Katie's my oldest daughter, was having my first grandchild. Um, and events overtook us slightly <laughs> so I never got around to opening them nor did I get around to recording those vlogs so I thought I'd just do a standalone episode where I open all the packages from one of the sets in one go um a because that's fun um but b I do actually need to get them opened so that I can get them packed because we are packing up to move so today's 12 days of Christmas set is from the lovely Ellie who is Craft House Magic. Um, I think this is the fourth one I've had of Ellie's, um, of her 12 Days of Christmas. This is her Jolly Jingle set. Um, it came with a little thank you skein, which is beautiful. So good. So pretty. Right, okay, let's go through. So, it's coming in these little um, red and white packages. I had to open this one or um, I've got a Wild Rose Yarn one which is a new to me one um, because they're both in the same packages so if I was to take out the one in the middle which is Giddy Yarns I wouldn't have known which was which so we're going to go with opening these I apologise for the creaking Ooh, oh it's got some jingle bells at the end and that's the mini I'm going to do the same as I did with the previous one, which is pop them in a line to one side. I think these are 10 gram minis, doesn't say. And I haven't got my, have I got my little scales to hand? Let's have a look. Have I, got my little scale? I have got my little scales to hand. Let's just weigh them. I think they're 10 grams. I tend to, as a rule, try to get 10 gram minis um, for Christmas because 20 gram minis... Um, take quite a bit of using up. Come on, off you come. So you are ironically a 20 gram mini. <laughs> okay, so I definitely got 20 grams for this one. I think this might be a DK. I can't remember what I ordered. Um, I wonder if I can look it up. Right, talk, talk amongst yourselves for a moment while I find my phone. It's definitely a DK. <laughs> well, I see DK scrappy socks in my uh, future, I think. Let me put the bell back on. So, this is number two. Ooh. It's beautiful pink. Number three, another beautiful pink, sort of a dusky pink this time. It's going to make some gorgeous socks. Number four. Going into the blues, it's pretty pretty, variegated blue, <laughs> my colours, I love that colour. Number five, again another variegated blue but a little bit darker this time. Number 
number six. Halfway through already. Just get more than just yarn in there. Oh, it's a um, Polar Express Tinkerbell. That's cool. That's because this game gets my ring. <laughs> oh, I love it. And teal. Oh wow, <laughs> this one matches my jumper. Look at that, that's pretty. All the speckles. I do love a speckle. Number eight. Oh, this one really matches my jumper. <laughs> so my jumper in a skein. I did not knit the jumper I'm wearing. I hasten to add this is a short bought jumper. Number The one that matches my jumper. It's a darker version. This just looks so pretty all laid out. Number 10. Let's the extra in here. Oh, we're moving into a different colour again. And there's some. Um, wash lavender will wash and this beautiful green number 11 which is a variegated version of the green again beautiful I love Ellie's colours so much. And finally number 12. Oh that's lovely. It's so like a true green, like a spring green. Variegated. Oh it's beautiful. I love this. And as I said it's a DK. So I'm definitely thinking... Um, Maybe some scrappy DK socks. I've never made scrappy DK socks. Um, I've been loving my DK socks this year with it being so cold. So I'm thinking I definitely want some more DK socks. Um, it would also make a really pretty little um, habitation throw for Ira. But I have got the Castle View Yarn DK for that one. Which is a rainbow. But that's going to be massive. Because it's a full 24. <laughs> so it would be double the size of this one. But these are so Kate's colours in her nursery. I think it looked really pretty. So I think that might be what it is. Maybe I'll do scrappy socks and then make the leftovers into a little throw. Maybe you won't have enough actually yarn for that because it is a DK, even though it's 20 grams. I still think about this. <laughs> Oh, oh, I hope you're enjoying um, these little show and tells. Um, I'm certainly enjoying doing them and they are much smaller when I put them out of their packages and um, into my stash because I have got to get things packed up, um, which is proving a challenge, shall we say. The biggest challenge is actually deciding what to pack now um, and whether I'm going to need it for um between now and when we move because obviously we've no idea when we're going to move because we haven't found a house yet um nor if we sold this one i hasten to add um we're not on the market yet so i have no idea 
whether I'm going to need to use any of this stuff or not. So, oh dear. Anyway, as I said, I hope you've enjoyed that. There will be a photograph of them all lined up in a moment at the end. And um, thank you so much for joining me.